Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the city of Flame Whisper. That's a very edgy name. Flame Wisp. Who named their city Flame Wisp? These guys who probably named their city Flame Wisp. Good day, Alexander. Oh, we got more Tracer music. I love this trick. Ding ding. Bang. So good, so good. Good day, Alexander. Oh, look, it's Captain Sar of the Guard Guard Guard. Same to you, forests. How goes the occupation of Flame Wisp? The occupation is going swimmingly, General. As long as we keep the city under control, we have an avenue to stop Albrain once and for all. Fantastic work, forests, but I'd be careful. Princess Aedrin has taken command of her own force. Our scouts have confirmed that they have beaten many of Mitch's men. I see. I'll be sure to raise the defenses. Flame Wisp will not fall to a group of renegade wannabes. I appreciate your enthusiasm, forests. I pray to hear good news from you. The transitions in this hack are a little glitchy sometimes. I don't really know why. Look at all these soldiers. This won't be an easy fight. Flame Wisp will be a major asset to us if we can reclaim it. We should give it all, all when attacking the city. If we can defeat their commander, then the soldiers should hopefully lose their morale and surrender to us. That would give us an easy victory and a claim in the city. It's likely that their commander will be well guarded. Take caution, milady. Of course, Donovan. Let's prepare for battle. Ooh. Alright, boys. Those Albrin scum have come to our doorstep. Crush them in the name of Irona and General Alexander. Everyone, the enemy is preparing to move out. Be careful and defeat them quickly so you don't get overwhelmed. Our success in the future depends on this battle. I'm just as ready as ever, milady. I swear not to fall you on this, or fail to you on this day. I, I, not to fail. To fail you on this day. I trust that claim, Leon. Let's prepare for battle. Of course, but, milady. Let's go. Did she still like, say, like, prepare three times in a row? Alright, so we got a city map. Nice. The boss is Forrest, an associate of General Alexander. And he has Poussins. Okay, so I guess that's not a personal skill. Or it's like a personal skill that others have, too. So this gate door is locked, so we can't go this way. I mean, maybe we'll get a thief this map? But, uh, yeah, okay. We got soldiers, archers, we got some shops here. They don't seem to sell anything special. Nope, nothing special. Alright, well, I'm assuming maybe the door will open or something, I don't know. But for now, it seems like this is the best path to take. So I say let's just go. Oh, here's something. Sir, what the hell's going on out there? It's the Imperial soldiers, mister. They seem to be on the move. Damn. We still have to head out. Not while those soldiers are fighting, you're not. Guards, lock down the inn. Protect the tenants at any costs. Yes, sir. Sorry, Tabita. Looks like my luck's run out. Oh, okay. Again with the glitchy transitions. I don't really know why he keeps doing that. Also, I love light inheritors, but some different music would be nice. So, I assume it would be probably smart to let this guy go for our, uh, go for George. We'll leave someone here to deal with him, but I feel like everyone else can probably just start going this way. Like so. I'm gonna pick up the mage and fly him as well. And then I'll pick up, uh, our fighter boy and send him over here as well. I don't know, you think, I'm not sure if he can deal with this guy on his own. I think I'll just leave a couple of guys behind here. Some charisma might be, uh, might not be a bad idea. Ooh, new enemy face music. I've heard that before, but I can't place it. Huh. Also, maybe he's in a little bit over his head here. Hmm. I've heard it, but I can't place it. Okay, so that will kill. This will not. So what if we do this? Oh boy, uh, that kind of sucks, honestly. Wait. Hmm. So he can't kill. That does suck a little bit. But what if we? What if we try and take down the soldier first? And then maybe, I mean, the soldier's most likely going to hit us if we try to attack him. But, let's try it. Yeah, okay, he hit us, but 
I don't think we need to heal. I think the guy will go for, uh, the fighter will probably go for Adrian anyway, so. Anyway, let's go. Another level up. We are now at level 5. Hit points, skill speed, luck, and resistance. The George keeps getting Georger. 5 star unit right here. Yeah, so he does 19. That's not enough to kill. Nor is it... Wait. Uh, no, okay, we're good. Weapon triangle will keep me alive here. So what do we have here? We have uh, we have a bunch of soldiers. I think we'll just put Donovan up here. Any ranged weapons? There's a hand axe right here. Who is he carrying? He's carrying Teddy. That's okay. If we... Um, hmm. Wait, didn't I get a javelin? I did. What if I uh, go get that javelin? No, wait. Where is my javelin? Who has my javelin? Who on earth has my javelin? Should be here somewhere. I got it from the monster. Huh? Oh, no. What? What? Seriously, who... Who has my... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't feel the mages, I think. Or I, did, I, I don't think I... There was a character I didn't feel, I think. I think that character may have had the javelin, so... Well, rip. Anyway... There's nothing to be done about that right now. Let's just drop you off. Jake is carrying uh, Leon, so that shouldn't be too bad. How hard do these guys hit me? So this guy does three times two. That's fine. We can probably just give you the iron uh, sword for max avoidance and put you off here. And you are carrying Damien. Yeah, I didn't feel the dark mage. I feel a, bit, a little bit dumb right now. I probably should have fielded Damien. Sorry, I mean the... Ka Kara, is that her name? I think that's her name. Okay, I obviously don't want my healer to be attacked, so I'll send her over here. And again, I gotta stop pressing X. Oh, yeah, he's going for... Uh, yeah, he's going for Adrian. I should have known he would. That kind of sucks. I really wanted this kill to go on George, but oh well. I guess our main character needs experience too. So I was down at the gym today, and my gym closed down due to coronavirus, so thanks a lot, city. I was gonna go lift some weights, and then they were like, nah, uh uh can't lift weights. So, uh, that made- that kinda ruined my day, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna have to go work- or work out over at a friend's house instead. Everything's just shutting down. This is madness, man. I've never seen the world react like this before. Mm. Alright, so, uh, Donovan continues to be a boss. Maybe this wasn't the smartest idea, but hey, it's time for our first Donovan level up. Let's see how he gets. I mean, that's fine with me. Never a bad thing to get some speed. Ooh, okay. Nice. So... Yeah, now I remember. Yeah, I killed the, I killed the, tra the boss of last chapter with my Dark Mage. That's why... I don't have my javelin. That that sucks, because that javelin actually would have been really nice here. What's going on now? I've had enough of this crap. What's going on in that head of yours, Derek? I'm gonna push my luck, Roderick. What else am I gonna do? Hey, guards! What's the issue, sir? You are, friend. Hey, you're coming with us once this is over. Nah, I don't think so. Erk! You just knocked out the guards! Are you insane? No, miss. I'm just on a mission. Let's leave this place, Roderick. Right behind you, Derek. Oh, green units. There we go. That's Super Famicom Wars. Oh my god, I think it's Funroso's theme. Oh my god, we got an archer. We got an archer. Vanity, 2 damage and 10 hit when fighting enemy at 2 range. As if archers needed to be even better, holy crap. A freelance archer out of Auburn. Confident and extremely lucky. Okay. An extremely lucky? My god, an archer with luck. I love it. Roderick, a calm freelance knight accompanying Derek. He has pragmatic. When foe is not a full HP, attack plus 3 and defense rest plus 1. Wow. Okay, so I still can't... Wait, 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 wait. Do I have a door key in my convoy? I do not. I don't remember ever getting a door key. We'll see. Anyway, so we're a little bit squeezed into place right here. Maybe Damien can uh, do something. What if I, uh... <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, if I do this, Leon, how do you do here? Oh, you double, but do you double this guy? I doubt it. No, you don't. So let's just do this. Gonna take a little bit of damage, but it's only three damage, so it's fine. Really love this remix of the FS6 attack theme. It's amazing sounding. Then we'll take this guy down. Kinda sucks, actually. That Shaman would have been really good for this map. Like, a, a Shaman with Darting Blow, that's almost too good to give up. Like, I should have... I don't know why I didn't check my deployment slots more carefully. Anyway, can we double with the blade? Yeah, we need to take some damage anyway for Fire Blood to proc, so this is fine. Probably, yeah, I'm probably gonna miss one of the attacks. Question is, can we finish off the soldier? Probably can. Uh, no, we cannot. Melinda, what the fuck? Though, to be fair... Actually, no, we cannot. Actually, we can heal. I want to use uh, Breath of Life here to heal. Okay, so it's within two spaces, right? So, if we move Donovan down a spot, then we can actually get some healing out of it. The question is, is it safe to do this? 11 damage... 5 damage... 6... Nah... Definitely not safe to do that. No, I think it's probably more prudent to just kill one of these guys. Probably the sword guy. There we go. He, he jumps around a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I like these animations or not. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Fates Paladins, so how they like rah, twirl around all the time, you know? Uh, okay. I guess I could go back and do this. But I think it's probably more important to, uh... Uh... Could chug something, but that'll leave the mage in the front, and I don't like that. No, I think I'm going to do this and then then probably just heal. Because it'll give everyone... I don't think she gets any... Oh, wait, now I don't need to heal anymore. I don't think she heals herself with Breath of Life. I'm fairly certain she doesn't. She's at 15 now, so let's check, out, check it out. No, she doesn't heal herself. Yeah. 7 damage from this guy and 5 damage from this guy. Honestly, that's fine with me. It's not a great... Wait, 7-14, yeah. It's not a great position to attack from here. Because I'll probably miss. No, I didn't. But I wanted to block the way to the mage. Or Damien. Until I learn the name of these guys properly, I'm probably gonna keep calling them, like, things like the mage. Uh, Penny... Do we just pick up George? I think we'll just pick up George. Better to get him to the front lines than to heal, in my opinion, right now. Okay, let's see if the green units get themselves killed or not. They seem to be in a pretty precarious situation. I don't necessarily think this will go well. If I were to have a slight criticism... I, I know I hate green units. And I'll always advocate for green units not being on the field. But I feel like in this situation... Probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to just make those two guys blue. I, I really like the idea of... There's so many situations where making someone a blue unit rather than a green unit just makes the map more enjoyable. Right now, I am completely left to the AI's whims. Like, I don't know if they're gonna do stupid shit, right? They probably aren't taking reverse mode into option. I think that guy just placed himself in range of a Myrmidon, for example. No, he didn't. But I have absolutely no control over these two. They'll they'll probably just run and suicide themselves at some point. There are some situations where green units make sense. But I would probably just make these blue. My two cents on the whole situation at any rate. Okay, I'm probably gonna get hit here, so that's a bit annoying. I guess I can use Adrian to take George and put him down. That allows me to still heal on the same turn. Uh, I can probably utilize Breath of Life. Oh, wait, no, she doesn't have the con to do this. If I, uh, okay, I have an idea. So if I do this, I'll probably take 11 damage to the face. I'm just gonna make sure there's there's an archer here that I'm a little bit scared of. But I think I'm okay. So if I take 11 damage to the face here, which I suspect I will, uh, I got a pretty good Breath of Life that I can pull off here. So, yeah, if I then attack from here, that's one... Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Uh, not unless I have a javelin, but... <laughs> well, you guys know what happened to my javelin, right? So, 
I'm sorry, Damon. You're not gonna be part of this one. Oh, what the fuck? Come on. Come on. I guess I can do a little damage, but that'll place me in range with the archer, and I don't like that. Unless... Okay, what if I, uh... Hmm. What if I place the sky in front? If I attack this guy from this side, I should be fine, in my humble opinion. Also, I'm just gonna use the Silver Lance to delete this guy. I don't wanna... Oh, he's a Light Brand. Hmm. I'm assuming the Light Brand doesn't target rest at melee range? Oh, never mind. I guess I'm about to find out. I'll send it to Convoy for now, though. Right, so I would like to attack this guy with my peg. I, I guess Breath of Life will have to wait, because right now it's not really uh, something I think I should do. But you know what? I'll do this. I'll equip a uh, hand axe. I just gotta make sure. Both are scary in this game, so 15 damage. That's fine. Nine speed, seven speed. Yeah, it's not gonna double me. Let's see what this house is saying. That night, Forrest is one tough nut to crack. I reckon magic attacks will be your best bet at piercing his armor. Wait, what? Oh no, I destroyed... <laughs> no, Teddy, what are you... <laughs> what have you done, Teddy? You destroyed the village! No! He's a secret brigand, guys. Oh boy, I just realized I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy. Oh boy. What? Okay, that is not cool. Wait, what? One, two, three. What? Okay, that is seriously not cool. He destroyed the village and opened it up. That doesn't seem like it should be intentional. That definitely seems very not intentional, if you ask me. Um, okay. Yeah, that's, um, not cool. But I think I can probably... Okay, so that archer can attack over here. Uh, who is he carrying? He's carrying Damien, who will probably die, I imagine, if he is not taken care of. So I'll just do this, I guess. I mean, he's not gonna double Melinda. She has six speed, so I think I'm fine here. It really depends on what the, uh, I mean, I, now I don't have any more avoid from here, so that kind of sucks. I mean, this guy will attack me. I mean, as long as they don't focus their attacks, I should be fine. But yeah, that was kind of dumb. That should be fixed for sure. Pretty sure he didn't mean to destroy the village. Weapon rank increased to C. Alright. Let's see what the green units do. Okay, as I thought. He's going for Melinda, who should not be doubled. No, she's not doubled. And then the archer... Wow, okay. So yeah, archer's gonna be real scary in this hack. Very scary, with their buffed bows and whatnot. Alright, what are green units? Oh, they're dumb! As you might expect green units to be. Yeah, he's gonna fucking die, isn't he? <laughs> Unless we can bring uh, Mr. Donna, Donna Jagan up here. Doesn't double here, sadly. I guess I shouldn't expect him to, but still. So, uh, yeah. That's not great. Please use a vulnerary, my friend. You're low on health. You're gonna die. Oh no, I need a steel bow. Where my lady at? Okay, so I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna see if I can do something. Can I trade and then, like, go back? Okay, that's absolutely busted. This Tracer trade is, is completely nuts. It's completely fucking nuts that I can do this. But, hey, if it's intentional, I'll take advantage of it. But it's that Adrian can just, like, teleport around and just hand out gear to everyone within our movement range is stupid. Like, but it saved my ass right now, so... Alright, so I'm gonna give you the steel bow because you clearly need it to kill these guys. And then I'll drop you off here. 
And then, as much as I want to drop you off, I guess you can drop you off with someone else. I want to heal Don one up, just in case. There's a lot of enemies up there. Hit points, power, speed, and rest. I do need to. I do need to kill this archer, though. I do. I do actually need to kill this archer. If not, my Pegasus Knight dies. So let's just try this. And let's just pray that the green units don't suicide quite yet. Also, his sword is black. I just realized. He's like the Black Knight, Ares. Ooh, drink mistletoe. Ooh. Power skill. Good job, Jake. And then we can use Leon. Oh, we have a support. But, okay, so I don't think supports take up an action. Say, Sir Gilliam, can I ask? Oh, I think this is a, yeah, this is a standard vanilla secret stone support. There we go. So there are some supports are in the game, but others not. Okay, that actually works out. So at least we can, can get rid of the soldier boy. Boof. <coughs> Alright, got him. So there's a brigand here. Again, oh, gotta stop pressing X. My bad, guys. My bad. Actually, oh, he crit him. Nice. Good job. Oh, and that Myrmidon guy doesn't move. Okay. God, I love the Super Fabrico music. It's so good. I, wait, what? I guess this is my retirement. Wait, what? Wait, 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 I mean, if you if you want a guy to be recruitable, this is probably a good idea to make him talk or say l some sort of dialogue, you know? That's just a thing that might help out, but hey. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I just realized the, the weapons appear above their portraits. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. Okay, so uh, I am assuming I need to talk to these guys with Adrian. That's what I'm... Wait, talk... Rod okay, so you need to talk to the archer. Maybe I should just pick uh, Adrian up and then have her dropped off. For simplicity. Like so. And then we obviously want to get rid of the brigands so we can stay safe. Hmm. There we go. Got him. Bonk. And yeah, it looks like we're gonna be able to reach the boss and clean up this map relatively quickly. So, uh, maybe we wanna pull this guy with our fighter, just gonna make sure he doesn't die. Thunder, uh, it's a little scary, but I'll be fine. Like so. And then we wanna, Oh, if we can get the kill with our, with George, that'd be even better. Ooh, ooh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, man. Oh, no, don't run away! Fucking no, don't use your elixirs! That's dumb. Okay, I'm probably- yeah, I need a little bit of healing before I can do this, but this should be some nice experience for George. Yep, that works just fine. He has a lot of luck, so he- he doesn't face crit right here. Quipal! Place your bets, guys. When am I going to lose a Yuna due to reverse mode? When is it gonna happen? So I don't think we need to shop anything. At least not that I'm aware of. And, uh, well, I'm just going to place Donovan here, I think. But first, let's go talk to this guy. Sir, are you alright? You shouldn't be fighting in these Imperial soldiers. You've clearly never heard of me, right? No, you don't seem familiar. Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is Derek, known far uh, about as Lady Lux Sharpshooter. Are you sure you should be relying on <laughs> me? That's an incredibly dangerous thing to do. Luck has yet to fail me, ma'am. Perhaps I should travel with you just to prove my point. I'm pretty handy with a bow. You're welcome to travel with us, Derek. Just to be sure to stay safe, okay? I guess we can compromise on that. Nice to work with you, ma'am. Okay. 
So this guy better have a good luck stat. Aw, oh, yeah, 75% luck. That's my, that's my kind of archer right here. I like this guy already. 60 strength, 45 speed, pretty good too. And hey, vanity, that's nice. Wish he had some sort of luck-based skill, though. Like, the spoil on this guy wouldn't be terrible. Also, speaking of which, I just realized Jake has to spoil, but I haven't, like, I probably never see a proc, honestly. Alright, let's go recruit Archer Boy, or uh, Armor Boy, I mean. Change the plans, Roderick. Oh? We'll be traveling with the Aubrey Army from now on. Very well. Hopefully we can still find your sister. Yes, Roderick, I hope I do. I guess time will tell, huh? I mean, luck is on your side, after all. I have faith in our quest, Derek. As do I, Roderick. As do I. Okay. Cool. I wonder if there's a reason to visit the inn. The Imperial Army has these deadly armor knights. Their boss is one of those. However, certain weapons are meant for destroying state armor. One great example is here, this armor slayer. Sword fighters can use this to slice armor knights to ribbons. You need this more than I do, so please take it. Okay. Well, something tells me I can just Donovan the guy and we'll be fine, right? Yeah, I think we can just Donovan the guy. <laughs> Alright, I'm uh so what kind of weapons do these guys have? They have Iron Lands, Iron Lands. Okay then. I'll just see I'll probably destroy this village too then. Some say there's a mystical temple of flame snake here. That's why the city was named Flame Wisp. However, it said very few people have confirmation as to its existence. If you find a temple, be sure to grab any treasure you can find. Okay. Yeah. I think I know why this happens. Uh, this is a bug I've seen happen in some other ROMs as well. It's a bit weird because I don't remember exactly what causes it. I've just seen it. It's it's a weird bug. Oh, there's a guy here that I forgot about. Oh, Amang's pressed X again. What else is new? I swear to God, this is a terrible hotkey for it. Alright, Derek, let's see what you can do. And, uh, you... Let's see what... Oh, we didn't even check out this guy. So, Roderick, calm freelance knight, uh, C rank in lances, very slow, not great luck, high defense, good power and hit points, 13 con, pretty good. That means he can use steel lances unimpeded. Yeah, I like this guy. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Let's go visit the village. Standard weapons have ranged variants. Swords have light brands. Axes have hand axes. And lances have java. Okay, I see. So they're doing like like we did in the PME. Just making light brands like as common as javelin and hand axes. Fortunately, I have a spare javelin that's just gathering dusts. Be sure to use it well. Oh, nice. My javelin. Nice. Thanks, thanks for giving it back. Huh. I like that. Alright, I don't think there's any need to buy any equipment right now, so yeah, I think we'll just deal with the boss and call it a day, really. Maybe I shouldn't use Donovan for this, but I don't know. I like Donovan. It's It should be fine. I mean, I could try to get the Armor Slayer over here. Again, I feel like I missed out on the playable character. That does kind of suck a little bit. Hmm. But, you know, what can you do? So, uh, we'll do this, and I'm assuming that, yeah, no, the boss doesn't move, so we should be able to kill him pretty easily. Oh, here we go. Hey, I got doubled, but it doesn't matter. My General Alexander demands that you get no further. Well, spoiler alert, Mr. Forrest, we're gonna get further. And you're not gonna stop us. In fact, I suspect that Adrian is going to wreck you, actually. No armor slayer needed. So, uh, I want to see, can you visit this place? No, you cannot. What the hell? I didn't even... Oh! This is not me pressing X. This is just me not enabling animations. I'm a dumb dumb. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll see how this goes. Uh, ooh, 16 damage. Can we maybe, uh, heal up a little bit first? I mean, he is the luckiest archer alive, after all. He should be fine with this. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. I love the ranged Armor Knight javelin animation that this hack uses. It's so sexy. Okay, uh, can Adrian finish the deal? No, okay, this guy has res. Eight res, okay, that's pretty scary. Okay, but... Um, hmm. 
You know what? Maybe we should just let... Uh, maybe we should just let Donovan get the kill. I mean, it's not a bad idea to give your Jagan some boss experience. There we go. 9 HP left. Should be able to kill him with a simple Iron Lance now, or, or a bow. What's his weapon ranks? Wait, why does he have minus 2 skill? Huh? Huh? Why? Why do you have less skill? Did I get hit by uh, some sort of seal skill or something that I wasn't aware? Hmm, no, I don't know. This is weird. Uh, let's see... Yeah, I have no idea. No idea why he has minus two skill. I've seen... The I remember a similar bug in the PME where random characters would just randomly get stat debuffs. I don't know if it's just a visual bug or if it's actually a reduction to their stats, but... Yeah, it's interesting. I'm seeing a lot of the same bugs that we struggled with when we did the PME. You see, there's... Oh, I also just realized I fucking missed, so... All of these new skills we've gotten are really cool, but they also bring with them a fair share of bugs, which is a little frustrating. Uh, I also really... I just realized I could have fucking died here. Uh, oh shit, wait. I think we've concluded he doesn't kill any of my guys, so... Yeah. His Poussins does make him deal quite a lot of damage. There we go. He's dead. Okay. Wah! Yo, wah! <laughs> You'll pay for this, rebel scum! He did it. The Evil Empire called me Rebel Scum. One mark off the checklists. And again with the weird transitions. Move over! This man is under arrest for assaulting our, on city guards. What did you do, Derek? Let's just say I did something uh, questionable when I left the inn. Come with us, sir. If you don't resist, I promise this won't be hard. Stop! What? I am Princess Adrian of Aubrain. Under my authority, I ordered this man to be cleared of his charges. However, I will instead require that he travels with us as a compromise. I trust that this is agreeable? M my apologies, milady. I did not realize it was you. If you can trust this ne'er-do-well, then I suppose we have no choice but to get him let him go. You've lucked out this time, sir. Don't make the same mistake again. Lady Adrian, I believe I have a confirmation from my prior studies. Yeah, sorry for not fielding you. What did you find, Kara? I believe the Mystic Flame Temple of Legend is real. And with that temple comes the ultimate fire spell, Hellfire. A spell like Hellfire will give us a major advantage. Do you think that finding the spell is a viable strategy? The legends say that the illusionary soldiers guard the temple. If we can handle them, then we should be perfectly able to claim Hellfire for ourselves. I think we should go. We need every advantage we can get against the Empire. Oh wait, is this a guidance chapter? Carla, can you lead us to where you believe the temple is? Of course, my lady. Follow me. Wait, is that a guide? I just gotta check. Just check real quick. Yeah, no, it is a guidance chapter. That's pretty cool. Okay, nice. Okay, so I think um, this is like the first chapter where I'm noticing uh, some a few flaws in the hack. Uh, like obviously the, the 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 village getting destroyed was a pretty big deal. That almost killed one of my characters. You know, when you encounter bugs in a hack, they're usually pretty easy to overlook. Like, yeah, it's just a bug. But if you lose a character because of a bug, that's very frustrating. But again, this, these are things that need to be polished as the hack gets closer to completion. Mm. Um, and I will say that I'm noticing that the writing is very simple. It's not bad, it's just simple, right? But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I feel like a lot of people, when they write a Fire Emblem story, they tend to make it too complicated and too convoluted rather than too simple. I feel like that's a problem that often goes in the other direction, you know? I don't necessarily mind that the story is easy and quick to follow. The, uh, the author doesn't go overboard with the dialogue, which is something a lot of hacks tend to do. Let's just say I would rather have a simple hack with moderate amounts of writing, rather than, like, a complicated hack with cringy amounts of writing, right? Uh, but I will say that the map left a little bit to be desired. I don't understand why what the point about the door was. Like, I don't know if I had a door key or if I could have obtained a door key, but it seems like I couldn't. And also, if you just make those two units blue units from the start, then I think the map would be a lot more enjoyable, because relying on the whims of green unit AI, never a good way to enjoy the map. Although I do suppose it gives you a, a, an opportunity to rush ahead, because, you know, you want to go get them before they kill themselves, but yeah, I don't know. Overall, a pretty simple city map. Looking forward to seeing what the Gaiden chapter has in store. Uh, Alright, guys, take care. Remember, as always, wash your hands, drink water, and avoid crowds. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
，拜拜。